Welcome to my home office tour. Now, ever since I became a freelance product designer and started working from home, I got obsessed with desk setup videos and over the past few years, I've been constantly improving my home office based on my changing needs as a creative professional. Now, I really started out on my dining table. And so this space as it is today just shows my journey over the past few three to four years of building and rebuilding my workstation. And I'm really happy with the current look and layout of this home office and desk setup. So I'll try my best to leave links in the description below to all of the items that I'll talk about shortly. And I honestly hope you enjoy this video and find some inspiration for your own home office setup. Let's dive into it, starting with the desk, which is in this corner of the room, right in between two windows, which allows me get plenty of natural light throughout the day with minimal reflections on my monitor's screen. It is an electric sit-stand desk from a company called Autonomous AI, and this is their smart desk in all white. I got this as an upgrade to my previous table, which was crafted by a local carpenter. I wanted the ability to stand and work from this setup whenever I wanted to help improve my posture, and also for those stand-up meetings that tend to be longer than usual. It is 70 inches wide and 30 inches deep and holds everything that I have on the desk easily. Powering this entire setup is my 16-inch MacBook Pro M1 Max. Whew, that was a bit of a mouthful with a 64 gigabyte memory and two terabyte storage. I decided that a laptop was the best option for me because I wanted the portability and flexibility of owning one. While I know that the 16 inch of the MacBook makes it pretty difficult to carry around easily, but I do love the extra screen real estate, so that's why I'm keeping it. Nonetheless, it's an excellent workhorse for video, photo, and all sorts of creative design work. I have the monitor mounted to the back of the monitor with an Ergotron mini PC mount to save some space on the desk. The monitor arm is from Ergotron as well. It is the HX monitor arm, which currently holds this 38 inch 4K 144Hz ultra wide LG monitor. Now, I'm not even going to attempt calling out the model number for this monitor, but I definitely will have it listed in the description below for anyone curious. While it's not the sharpest monitor from the current LG ultra wide lineup, I was happy with my decision to purchase this back in 2020 when I upgraded from the dual monitor setup I was rocking at that time. Moving on to the BenQ screen bar attached to the top of the screen. I really like having a lot of space on the desk and so I didn't want to opt in for any traditional lamps on top of the desk itself. This screen bar is an excellent choice in my opinion as it does a great job of lighting the entire desk without causing any screen glares. The BenQ screen bar comes with a hockey puck controller design and allows you control both the brightness and the temperature of the light. As for the keyboard, ever since I fell deep into the rabbit hole that is the world of mechanical keyboards, let's just say that I have a bit of an obsession. This keyboard is a custom-built Tofu 65 from KBD Fans with lubed Gateron switches and was super easy to assemble. As for other peripherals and accessories on the desk, I've got a couple from GroveMade, which are the desk shelf in walnut, desk mat in dark gray, trackpad mouse tray in walnut, and the iPhone charging dock in maple. I love these accessories because they help bring some contrast with texture and warmth to the plain white color of the desk. This is hands down the most comfortable and ergonomic mouse I've ever used. It has a slightly elevated shape, which helps keep your wrist in a slight upright position. I love the custom features of this mouse, and honestly, I cannot see a reason to upgrade from this anytime soon. Since I started shooting more video content, I quickly ran out of storage space on my laptop. So for some extra storage, I've got 
this 12 terabyte G drive external storage device, which is pretty much where I store all of my video footage. One thing to note is that this device requires constant power and so it is connected to a socket, which means that you can't use it without any power supply. And if you're wondering what's responsible for connecting all of these different devices together, it is the CalDigit TS4 dock. This is an absolute beast with 18 ports, 98 watts of charging power and Thunderbolt 4 ports. And yes, every peripheral on this desk goes through this dock, including the laptop as well. For audio, I'm using a Shure MP7 microphone that's connected to the Focusrite 2i2 audio interface. Now this microphone can be used with either a USB or XLR cable, which means that with a USB cable, you can connect this directly to your computer. But if you're going to use an XLR cable, then you will need an external audio interface. In my case, I'm using it with the XLR cable. And if you're curious about what that sounds like, well, it is the microphone I'm using throughout this video. For general lighting in this space, I've installed some Philips Hue lights around the desk and some aperture lights for when I want to record videos and really don't want any flickering. This is the Elgato Stream Deck Mark II. It is a microcontroller and this version has 15 programmable buttons which I use to trigger shortcuts when working within certain applications. Now, it's a really useful tool that helps maximize my productivity on a daily basis. I really like well-designed products and this analog to-do system from Ogmonk is my favorite. In my opinion, it's a more effective option over sticky notes which tend to easily mess things up. I really have a lot of respect for independent creators making awesome high quality products. And finally, the chair. This is one of the best chairs I've sat in and I've had this for over two years now. This is the Hayworth Fern chair and it's in the silver leaf color. Now, in retrospect, I should have gotten this in black so I don't have to worry too much about it getting dirty all the time. However, it is a super comfortable chair with adjustable settings that suit my sitting preferences. There is an option for additional lumbar supports at an extra cost, but I got the version without it. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all there is to this setup portion of the office. Minus a few accessories on the wall, like these wooden panels that help add more warmth to the space and the wooden nano leaf light for a little more ambience. Um, this is it, that's all. <laughs> Overall, I'm really happy with this setup. It's cozy, makes me feel productive, and inspired to do my best work. Thanks for watching this video guys and I'll see you in the next one.